Hello. Making sure, yeah, everything seems okay. Often this happens to other people, but I do sometimes wonder after going live, was this a bad idea? Because <laughs> I'm tired. It's okay though. It'll be fine. Better be, anyway. I was trying to be on earlier, but I was not mentally prepared for it. Oh my god. There's so much shit. Let's see what we've got for each other. Oh yeah, I have this weird ass loadout going. Which I forgot about because we were raiding. Been a while. Are you ready? Right, 
Zavala's got nothing for me. What do you think? Take a look. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a slight light improvement. Now where did I proceed? Come visit again soon. The armory will not fade as long as I have any. Sorry to cut you off, Ada. Okay, one sec. Oh, shit. Good. What's up? I'm so glad that I can jump through now. 
I noticed while we were raiding and stuff that they uh, they fixed the portal jumping. Because apparently I was not the only one who was annoyed by that. I'm not supposed to be in here. Twinkles? Heading back into the throne world? Gonna hope Savathun left some tips about beating Zebu you can peek at. Because from where I'm sitting, Eris doesn't have a clue. I don't think you, you realize how lost you'd be without Savathun's plan. Even dead, she's smarter than you. She had it all figured out years ago. Oh, Take the travel. Seal it away. Keep it hidden from the witness. Clean and easy. But there's nothing you guardians hate more than a plan you're not the center of. So you stormed the gates. Liberated your darling traveler. And put it exactly where the witness knew you would. And now, here we are. With everything pretty much ruined. So go ahead. Keep trying to outsmart Savathun when she's just trying to undo all the damage you've done. The Traveler didn't make a mistake when it chose the Hive. It was fixing the mistake it made when it chose you. I don't know. Sounds pretty full of shit. Also important to keep in mind that Savathun is pretty much the queen of lies, or whatever. What's up, Lore? How's it going? Dude, what if that was the whole thing this week? <laughs> like, I'm done. Waiting for your body to decide sleep is a good idea. You go to bed pretty early, huh? I'm guessing it's like a work thing or something.
Oh, okay, I have to go back to the throne world. And get art kills. You wake up at 3.30, oh God. Yeah, I once had a job where I had to be there at five every day. So yeah, I, I was there for a little while. It sucked. I never got used to it. And yeah, it's all right, I just started. Kind of hoping it's not too involved this week because I want to play some cassette beasts and yeah, I'm playing games with my brother later and I want to have like a good chunk of time to play cassette beasts before we do that. Yeah, getting out early is Those awesome. Keeping you in good shape? But yeah, I interesting. I got miles under me. What happens when you I could not to... handle it very well when I was in that position. But I have trouble like I still have trouble waking up early and stuff. Okay. So I need to do like a lost sector or something. Or do I? There's actually a decent amount of dudes in the overworld. Wait, you've like fallen asleep on your desk and not woken up until morning? No, I've... I've never done that. But I've definitely... fallen asleep in places where I wish I hadn't and woken up like a little while later to go to bed. And that already sucks, so I'm sure it's way worse to... just lose the entire night that way.
Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. But, dude, like, even when I fall asleep where I'm supposed to, I still feel like shit when I wake up half the time. That's rough. Dude, stop killing the guys I want to kill. I just have to get in here and... Did that do it? Okay. Oh, I have to do patrols. Shit. Okay. Uh, there's a patrol over here. The hive's got something to hide, yeah? So, what we're gonna do is play some hide and seek. I was wondering why... What the hell? I might have fucked that up. Sorry. Another pyramid super weapon down for the count. And another day protecting the throne world from destruction. Good work, Guardian. It's good that you like your job. I... I don't know. I'm at this point where I don't think I would really be happy doing any job. Because I've tried to do things that I liked work before and then I just end up not liking it anymore it just like sucks all the fun out of it Finding traces of light in the gate mechanism but it's too tight for the hive or a guardian to squeeze in there so yeah the best course of action that I've found has been to have a job I don't completely despise like it's fine but it's a job and then just have that completely separate from the rest of my life
Dude, are there any more of those? I might go to orbit really quick and see if I can get a better patrol. Yeah, that's good. You know, whatever whatever keeps you happy. I'm actually pretty lucky to be in the position I'm in as far as work. Because I can do my work from home. I moved a few years ago, so... Okay, when I, I did that... Near you earlier and I, I didn't find anything, but I still got, I mean... Let's just call it a feeling. Give it a look for me. When I moved, my employer... Like, worked with me to set it up so that I could work remotely. Which is really awesome. So I got to keep my job when I moved. And it's actually way better now, because... Like, some people have a hard time working from home, but for me, it's a lot better. Oh god. Like, I have a really hard time having to be in a certain place at the same time every day, and, like, I know that sounds whiny, and I know that, like, everyone has to do it, and I had to do it for years, obviously, but, yeah, I don't know. It just gave me a hard time, so I'm glad that I don't really have to be on such a strict schedule anymore. So yeah, I'm really lucky for that. Yeah, like, even though I don't particularly care for the work sometimes, it's not bad. It's definitely the best job I've had. And, you know, my employer's awesome. Like, they've always worked with me a lot. So, yeah, I, I really lucked out finding that because obviously most places are just going to treat you like some faceless drone. And they don't really give a shit about you. Probably this way. Uh, it's this one. Okay.
Wait, do I have to do these within a certain time? Oh my god. Okay, yes, see, smaller companies are definitely the way to go. They tend to treat you more like you're a person, in my experience. done with that shit. Now where are the rest of the- okay, so here's a plate. And there was the one under here, which I have to shoot again for some reason. Ow. Dude, this room kinda sucks. That's not a thing. Okay, so there's that. They could be in the next room too. It's the last time I had to do one of these things. Okay, so there's this too. So that's... One... Two... And then there's three... Where the fuck... I don't think it's gonna be this far in. Dude, I get it. Like, oh shit, there's another one. Yeah. So when you first end up at a job that isn't horrible, you're like used to like, oh my god, I made a mistake or oh my god, I'm sick. And, and then you're like freaking out and then they're like, no, it's, it's cool. Wrathborn ambush you drawn to a surge of power. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, 
Is it Ikora? Okay. I'll do that as soon as I finish this. I was afraid I would die while I was waiting to teleport. Dude, I still feel like really tired. <laughs> says hi. Aww. That was cute. Glint says hi. Hi, Glint. Wait, I'm not supposed to be in here. Oh, it's your first job? Nice. My first job was at a movie theater, and that was horrible. <laughs> Definitely not my worst job. My worst job you, was... Ready to get back out there? Yeah. My worst job was at a call center. Where the fuck is Ikora? Oh, wait, she's in the fish area? What the hell is she doing over there? I'm not complaining. It's a cool area, but... <sighs> well, yeah, I mean... I didn't mind the boring stuff, because... If it was, like, a really slow day, I could just, like, draw or something. You know, it was whatever. The people I worked with weren't super great a lot of the time. And, yeah, customers were awful. Especially when it was really busy. And... It was like one of those places, like, I guess you've only worked the one job, but some places the staff just is so lazy that anyone who actually does their job gets promoted really fast, which is the kind of place that this was. So I wasn't even working there a month and they asked me to be a manager. And... For whatever reason, I said yes. <laughs> I was 18 years old, <laughs> so I'm just this little teenager 
and they didn't really train me properly. So when when shit went wrong, like uh, I don't know, one of the theaters had the air conditioner too high one time, and this lady was just like yelling at me because you know I was like the manager or whatever. But no one showed me how to control the theater temperatures or where that even was or like just anything so <laughs> yeah it was crazy and then I had another dude get mad at me because I didn't know by heart which theater his movie was in like we always would look at the numbers not the movie you know so he's like where's this movie and I'm like let me look at my chart thing and he's like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's like, dude, they rotate like every week. I'm not going to remember this shit. Yeah, people are weird. And it surprised me how many people go to the movies on holidays. Because Thanksgiving, like I only worked there for less than a year. Because I was like, I'm not working here forever. This is a very temporary thing. But like... I was surprised by how many people go to the movies on holidays. Like, Thanksgiving, when I worked there, was a total shit show. And this, like, poor other kid, like, I call him a kid, but he's probably my age because I was a kid, <laughs> basically. And he was just like, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I feel it. Welcome back, Sloane. It's good to be back. But from Masa's impressions, I guess this isn't a social call. Unfortunately not. What do you know about Eris's plan? Only that she and Asa are bound by some kind of hive ritual. I was against it, but like Asa said, sometimes we have to become our enemies to defeat them. That's exactly what concerns me. Sloane, I need to speak with her. No. Asa's done enough for the Vanguard. She's barely recovered from... Uh, uh, I will speak. Uh, bound by covenant. Tithes held between... Uh, a current... You're helping Eris contain the energy from the tithes. Eroding. Hollowing. Release in time. Or remain bound without end. If the ritual goes on for too long, Eris will be trapped as a hive. And Asa will be corrupted, twisted into something horrible. Ikora, I'll tear the tower to the ground before I let anything happen to her. It won't come to that, Sloane. I promise. Interesting threat. No, oh, so you don't want to talk to me. All right. Yeah, I thought it was weird. But yeah, it was totally slammed. But some people were very nice. Like, it was a non-tipping job. But there were a few people who actually gave me tips during holidays. Because they were like, I'm sorry, <laughs> you deserve more money <laughs> than you're getting, probably. Yeah. It, uh... That's totally fair. It's a lot. Guardian. I have been taking time to reflect on Ikora's conversation with Sloane and Asa. I knew there would be torment in embracing the hive and the poisonous squall of their violence. I thought myself prepared for it. 
I have lived long in shadow, and the shrieking horrors of the Hive will provide solace from my quotidian dreams. When I named the worms, I evoked only their resonance, but Asa responded. She is a willing and vital catalyst to empower my morph, but her pain is real and immense. My aim in this grotesque conversion was to shoulder the risk myself. But feeding from Asa's suffering, that is a line I did not think I would cross. Guardian, keep by my side so that we may soon leave these deeds behind us. I refuse to become something I am not. She's still looking a little heavy. Yeah, it's always awkward when it's not like technically a tipping job when people try to give you tips. But, you know, it's a, it's a really nice gesture, though. I, I appreciate people who consider the employees that they're interacting with enough to, you know, offer them something like that. That's nice. The worm gods extract their sustenance from between what is and what might be, between the actual and the possible. When the hive made their ill-fated pact with these worms, they gained immortality and the power to make of the world as they will. Few beings in this universe derive their power this way. The queen of the reef believes it is the same method as the Ahamkara. The wish dragons were too dangerous <laughs> to exist. So is Zivu Arath. My connection to Asa is regrettable. But this was the only path towards my goal. I invoked the worms, and she answered. And did you know that this would happen? It was possible, as all things are possible with this kind of power. This bond has not been attempted since the Worm Gods made their bargain with Witness. Also may have rejected it then, but the desire to overpower the universe with one's will is woven into her being. She is not beholden to it, not addicted or enslaved. The Deep is not her nature, but I have tangled myself within this desire through the use of the Staff's larva. Now I possess her power. This could kill both of you. That risk is ours to take. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds like a blast. Is it mostly, like, older people who get confused by that? I don't know. I don't have a car anymore because I live in the city, but, like, yeah, I, I never thought any of that was weird. Okay, I think I'm done with... I think I'm done with this stuff.
Oh, I see. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. That was confusing. Dude, shit can get weird. I'm glad I don't really have to interact with customers anymore. Like... I wish there were more job opportunities for people where they could just be more comfortable. What are the orange boxes? Wait, where? Oh. Uh, these? If you're talking about these, like the upgrade modules, basically, yeah, so, if I have a helmet that I really like, say I want to use this helmet, it's only 1800 power, but then, okay, I don't really have any good examples. Okay, so then this one has 1804, so I could go in here and I could use this helmet I'm not going to, but I could use an upgrade module to fuse this helmet into this helmet to bring the light up. So then the one that I want to use is more powerful. But I'm close to max capacity on those. Okay, so I'm done with Destiny. I'm gonna switch over to Cassette Beasts, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 